Remember to follow safety protocols, eye protection, ear protection, and protective clothing. Remember to chalk the tires if you're going to engage the air system. The tire tool allows you to measure tread depth and tire pressure quickly and input those measurements automatically. The tire tool kit comes with the tire tool probe, the air pressure attachment, a charger, and calibration cylinder. When charging the tire tool, it needs to be charged until the light goes out or turns green. To turn it on, press and hold the power button. It will turn red, then the light will turn green, indicating it's ready to use. If you bought the tire tool separately from the tablet, It'll need to be paired to the tablet prior to use. To pair it, go to Android Settings, Bluetooth, then click on the serial number, and it will pair. The serial number will usually start with TransLogic and then a character sequence. Now that the tire tool and tablet are communicating, plug in the air attachment. After you have logged into the LightCheck tablet application, it should auto-connect. If it is connected, you'll see the tire tool icon in the upper right. The background color of the icon indicates the battery state. Red means low voltage, and green means it's fully charged. If it doesn't auto-connect, press the Bluetooth icon in the upper left and select the TransLogic device. When it connects, you will see the tire tool icon appear in the top right. Note, if you turn the tire tool on before you start the application, the tire tool will auto connect. Otherwise, you will have to select it. Now, if the tire tool is unused for 30 minutes, the device will turn off and need to be turned on again to continue to use. During your inspection, you'll take your tread depth measurement first, then the air pressure. Take at least three tread depth measurements at three different points on the tire. The tablet is going to beep each time a measurement is received, but it will only display the lowest measurement. Sometimes an operator can take a false low reading. An incorrect reading is easy to fix. Simply click on the tire icon and replace the incorrect reading with a correct one. Take the air pressure reading of the tire and the app will automatically advance to the next tire. The order is outside tire, inside tire, then repeat the steps for the next axle. If there is visually something wrong with the tire, such as a bulge or a flat spot, then click on the tire in the app and select the proper condition. You can also take a picture and enter a note of the flawed tire by clicking on the tire and then on the note icon. Repeat the same procedure for every tire on the unit. Each tread depth measurement is indicated by a green dot, up to the required minimum of three. Remember that the icon in the top right will only appear if the tire tool is connected. To see the readings for a given tire, simply click on the tire. The system records how even the tread wear is. If the difference between the lowest and highest reading is beyond the designated uneven wear threshold, it'll mark the tire out of service. Every three to six months, the tire tool should be calibrated. To calibrate it, simply press the tire tool icon and begin the process. You'll need an air supply regulated at 100 PSI exactly and the tread depth cylinder that came with the unit. Be careful to follow the on-screen instructions carefully. If the calibration procedure is performed incorrectly, you'll get invalid readings and possibly even negative readings. The calibration can be repeated if this occurs.